In this tutorial, we will be walking through the process of using Daz 3D characters with the Animate 3D custom character feature. Then, we will import the animation back into Daz 3D and show you how to use the motions as a preset for other characters. The animations we will be importing are generated from the DeepMotion Animate 3D web service. Animate 3D is an AI-powered motion capture solution by DeepMotion that turns videos that you can find online or capture from a personal camera and turns them into a 3D animation, ready to download in a few minutes. Alright, moving on to our Daz 3D walkthrough. We will be starting with a character from the Genesis 2 Starter Essentials package. However, later on, we will be using a Genesis 3 and a Genesis 8 character as well. Step one is to select your character. You can use any character from Genesis 2. The best choice is the base character, but because of YouTube's restrictions on nudity, we will be using the barefoot dancer. Once the character loads, you'll notice that it is in a bit of a random pose, and to work with the Animate 3D custom character feature, the character does need to be in a T-pose. So step two will be to pose your character into a T-pose. And to do this, you're going to select your character then navigate to the scene tab and select the root node. Here, you'll see it says Genesis 2 female. Now, go to edit, then down to figure, then down to clear animation, and then to clear figure. All right, there we go. Your character should now be in a T pose, but you can see that the T pose isn't perfect, so we're going to need to clean it up a little bit. So for step three, we're going to go in and fix the T-pose. For a perfect T-pose, the arm should be straight. So to fix it, you're going to click on the forearm joint, then go over to the parameters tab and adjust the bend. We found that a negative 20 degree shift should help straighten this joint. Now that it's fixed, we can now move on to step four, which will be exporting our character as an FBX file. To do this, go to File, Export, make sure FBX is selected, and once you save, the export options will pop up. For this specific character, because it has clothes, it's important that you select Merge Clothing into Figure Skeleton, otherwise our character will not show with its clothes in Animate 3D. Also, have Figures and Morphs selected, and then click Accept. Once you see your FBX exported out, we can go to step five, which is creating our animation with Animate 3D. Once you're logged into the DeepMotion portal, you're going to go to Animate 3D, and then click on Create Animation. Now, step six, we'll be uploading our custom Daz 3D character, so go to the Custom Character feature. Free Animate 3D accounts will have three custom character slots available. If your slots are full, you're going to need to manually delete one out before you can upload a new one. Once you're ready, go ahead and find our Daz 3D FBX file that we just downloaded and upload it. Then navigate to your custom characters and make sure the file name is correct and then create animation. Next, for step seven, we're going to find and upload our source video we're going to be using for our animation. Be sure that you follow the video capture guidelines below to generate your best animation possible. We have a demo video on our YouTube channel that walks you through the various guidelines for further support. Now, once you find or capture your own video, upload it and double check your output settings. The BVH animation file that we need for Daz 3D is automatically included in the file export, so we don't need to do anything here for that. That said, feel free to explore the other settings here, like the physics filter, which will help prevent your character's mesh from intersecting if you're experiencing that issue. Once you're ready to go, go ahead and create your animation. The animation generation should only take a few minutes with default options selected. Once you're ready, you can now download your animation. Be sure to select the BVH file. It should download immediately. And now that we have our animation file, we can go back to Daz 3D and import the animation. For step eight, we'll be preparing our character for the animation import. 
Make sure that your character you're using in Daz 3D is identical to the one that you use on Animate 3D. Otherwise, the animation retargeting process will not work correctly. Before we import the BVH file, we need to do some preparation. We will start by turning off all the locks and limits on the character joints. To do this, click the root node on your character, right click the node in the scene tab, then select, then select all, then go to edit, go to figure, and then limits, then click on limits off. Now we'll follow a similar process. Go to edit, go to figure, and then lock, then click unlock selected nodes. Now for step nine, we're going to import the BVH file and look over the import options. Select the hip root on the skeleton, then go to file and import. Navigate to the BVH we just downloaded from Animate 3D. When you select your file, a BVH importer options window will appear. At the bottom, you're going to click on show details. You're going to see a window that shows a comparison mapping of our BVH skeleton and the Daz 3D skeleton. You can go down the list and make sure that all the nodes are mapped correctly. If you find something that is not mapped correctly, you can click on the node on the left side, then click on the corresponding node on the right side, and it will map them together. Once you're done, we will want to save our settings. So go to Save Map, then New, and I'll be naming my save map Demo. Then click Save. Now, you can easily just load this map if you need it again. For example, if the forearm is not mapped correctly, you can select the save map and it will automatically load our mapping settings. Next, we want to make sure that Adjust Scene to Match File is checked. Now we can accept. Now our BVH is loading. Once finished, you can see the animation has loaded onto our character. Now that our animation has been imported, for step 10, we're going to save it as an animation preset to use later. To do this, go to the Content Library tab. I have already created an animation folder under the My Daz 3D Library that has some animations that I've already created, and I will be saving this one into this folder as well. Navigate to the plus sign at the bottom, then click Pose Preset, and we will save it as Dance. In the Pose Preset Options window, you're going to want to make sure the animation range is checked and the start and end frames are correct. The current frame only only saves at one frame. Click Accept. Now that we have this saved as an animation preset, we can load this onto any Daz 3D characters. For step 11, I'm going to show you how to load an animation preset on a Genesis 3 character. I'm going to start out by deleting my Genesis 2 character, then go to Smart Content, and under Figures, go to Genesis 3 Starter Essentials. I'm going to load a female character. As before, we're going to need to make sure this character's T-pose is correctly matched to the Genesis 2 character. This one has good arm position, so we actually don't need to change this one. Now, click on the root node, then select, and select all. Then again, we're going to turn off the locks and limits of the character's joints by going to Edit, go to Figure, and then Limits. Then click on Limits Off. Now again, we'll follow a similar process. Go to Edit, go to Figure, and then Lock. Then click Unlock Selected Nodes. Now we can load the animation. To do this, go back to the content library, navigate to your preset folder, First select the hip node of the character, then drag and drop the dance animation anywhere into the viewport window. Here you might get a notice saying that our preset animation has more frames than the current timeline, which has just one. So we're going to click yes to expand it and finish loading the animation. Now you can see that the animation has loaded correctly onto this Genesis 3 character. For step 13, I'm going to demonstrate this on the Genesis 8 character as well. Let's go ahead and load a basic male. Once loaded in, you can see that he's in an A pose this time instead of a T pose, 
So we are going to need to fix this one to match the original character that we worked with for this animation to work. I'm going to quickly load in here the Genesis 2 character so we can compare and see all the differences. You can do this too if you want a side-by-side -side view. Once she's loaded in, I'll want to change her to a T-pose. So with her selected, we'll go to Edit, then Figure, down to Clear Animation, and then Clear Figure. Now, move her off to the side so we can have a clear view. Great, so from here you can clearly see the differences between the two characters. Again, the male character's arms are going to need to be moved into a T-pose position, but also looking at this, his legs are going to need to be straighter as well. To do this, let's go ahead and select our male character's right shoulder bend, and 45 degrees seems to be about right. Now do this for his left shoulder bend as well. Now for the legs, we'll select the right thigh bend and change it to 8 degrees, which is about right. Mirror this for the left thigh bend. And from here, you can see it looks like a perfect T pose. Now, we're going to want to set this new pose as the default pose for this character. To do this, we're going to use the Joint Editor. The Joint Editor is under the Tools Settings tab. If the Tools Settings tab is not there because it's not open by default, you can open it by going to the Window, Panels, and Tools Settings. From here, we're going to need to make the active tool be Joint Editor. After we have this open, we can right click on our character and select Edit, and then choose Bake Joint Rotations. The mess change a little bit with this change and that's okay. Now when you click on the shoulder joint, you can see that all the joint rotations are zeroed out because this is now the character's default pose. Now we're going to need to update the character settings like we have done previously. Again, to do this, you're going to click on the root node, then select, and this time we're going to select children. This is because this character has clothes and eyelashes. We found if you turn off the limits, it will have issues. So again, select children. Now we're going to turn off the locks and limits of the character's joints by going to edit, go to figure, and then limits. Then click on limits off. Now again, we'll go to edit, go to figure, and then lock, then click unlock selected nodes. Now we can load the animation. To do this, go back to the content library, navigate to your preset folder, first select the hip node of the character, then drag and drop the dance animation anywhere in the viewport window. Say yes to the total frames notice. Now you can see that the animation has loaded correctly onto this Genesis 8 character as well. And that's it for this tutorial. We're excited to be able to support Daz 3D and hope that Animate 3D helps support your projects. You can sign up free with monthly recurring animation time and unlimited downloads.